Now that the headphone jack has officially been removed from the iPhone, our first question was if there's any improvement using lightning over the already gray amps of the previous iPhone. Before I even started the test, I came into a situation that many readers commented about, listening to music while charging your phone. Luckily, the iPhone that was low in power wasn't the iPhone 7. I started off comparing the included lightning ear pods to their previous model, each with their ship device. At first, it was hard to tell a difference, but as I concentrated on the different instruments, it became apparent that the lightning ear pods do have crisper highs and slightly clearer mids. To make sure this wasn't placebo due to iPhone 7 launch excitement, we swapped the lightning and classic ear pods into the other phones, with the iPhone 7 using the included adapter. And this time, they sounded exactly the same, backing up our original claim. The next step was to use higher end headphones, my Audio Technica M50Xs. And after multiple tests in different configurations, I could tell that the highs and mids were clear, like the test with the ear pods. But this time, the volume was actually a bit louder due to the M50X headphones benefiting from a bit of extra power. Taking it even further, a set of open back Sennheiser studio monitors also confirmed the improved audio fidelity when using the lightning port instead of a 3.5mm jack. The difference isn't big, but it's there, and it's good to know that we have at least some benefit from switching over to lightning powered headphones. Visit appleinsider.com for much more iPhone 7 coverage and make sure to subscribe to Apple Insider on YouTube.